Good morning, good morning. It's sort of dark out. Not really. It's 647. And it was absolutely stunning here yesterday. Stunning. I walked until my foot hurt. Literally hurt. <laughs> In the sand, barefooted. So today we have a little bit of a catch in our giddy up because I cannot seem to find the paper that I printed for today's journaling part, this little guy. I know I printed it, but I can't seem to find it. So we're gonna go without it for right now. We have our pictures. It is Ghirardelli Square, which is famous chocolate, and we I love that chocolate um, in real life. <laughs> um, I guess this is real life, right? Um, Sorry, my mind is a little scattered. We're contemplating shopping for a puppy. Um, and I just started looking at, I just left a message with somebody, <laughs> a breeder. Um, we could go the, the adoption route. We don't want to. We have done it many times with cats. Um, and... There's no guarantee on what you're going to get, temperament-wise. And I want to guarantee temperament-wise, as much as a breeder can guarantee. Um, I admire the people that adopt them. Um, my husband's kids all adopt them. But, I mean, my sister has adopted. I have adopted. My best friend has adopted. I'm not a anti-adopter it's just not right for me at this stage of my game maybe if I was younger theoretically this will be the last dog unless something happens um, we would love to get a Maltese but we're having a problem finding a semi local breeder and when I say semi I mean within the net within a border of about three or four states So, I don't know. Our breeder that we got Bogey through passed away. Um, so, my mind is scattered. Sorry. Okay, so what I want to do. Okay, Ghirardelli Square. Famous chocolate. Left Italy. Went to Peru. And ended up in San Francisco. In the 1800s, I'm pretty sure. And um, is a huge uh, tourist attraction in San Francisco because um, it's down by Fisherman's Wharf. And down by where one of the cable cars stops. So I'm just going to make my backgrounds and put this together, this side, and have to wait for my story on the other side when I get back home, which won't be for a week or so. Probably, what's today? Friday. I'll probably be going home next Thursday, so a week, because my husband's coming down today yesterday for you um, with our granddaughter and the old little girl that lived next door to get in my art supplies duo so um, we're gonna have a little word of prayer when they first get here because Olivia is not used to boundaries of any kind and we kind of keep close tabs on Bella down here. It's completely safe. 
and they can wander a little bit, but not all over the park free will. And Olivia's parents would let them wander free will. <laughs> I'm not doing that. If that's what they want to believe, that's fine. That's not what I believe. And the weather is supposed to be delightful, so hopefully we can do a lot of beaching. And then they can kind of wander a little bit within eyesight. If they do not stay within eyesight, they get restrictions put on them. That's just the way I roll. Sorry. Coming up with a lot of... Um, I do not know if the family still owns Ghirardelli chocolates. I kind of doubt it. Because they're very commercialized. I mean, hugely commercialized. Not that you can't be commercialized and be family owned, but I mean, super global. That's a new term, super global. <laughs> this bucket is a storage bin 11 by 14 by 8 it's halfway full that's just down here little pieces every time i think i'm going to have a project that's going to take all of my scraps they multiply they're doing something at night that i'm not watching i'm going to so tomorrow is my last day in this journal. Um, and I already have a plan for tomorrow's journal. It doesn't require printing. Um, and I think this grew another journal so, well, it has. It's grown several. Um, I haven't started them, nor will they always be a project that I film. But it's lent itself to another cast of characters. <laughs> and that's what March's idea is going to be, which might just be a continuation in this journal this particular book substrate that I'm using. That's an artist term. Substrate, look at me. Okay. This is just tons of scraps with kind of earthy colors. If pink is an earthy color. Sure, pink is an earthy color. Um, so yeah, the weather's gonna be gorgeous. I spent a good bit on the beach yesterday. Not too many shells yesterday. Not a good shell day. Um, but it was still fun. Met a puppy <laughs> who was, what was it? A Aussie doodle, an Australian shepherd and a poodle. It was a puppy, so it was adorable. Um, first time it had been to the beach, which was so cute. Um, It was solid. Usually they have, from what I, I looked online last night, they have a lot of the markings of an Australian Shepherd, which is what we had growing up. Um, we had a German Shepherd and an Australian Shepherd. <laughs> um, <coughs> just how it worked out. The German Shepherd came from my ex-in-laws. When we were teeny tiny kids, they had one and we wanted one. And then Australian Shepherd came from a camping trip. My dad went to the grocery store, came back with the puppy. <laughs> Somebody was giving them away outside the little grocery store where we were camping. And both of them had very long lives, good lives, and were treasured pets. Um, so I know, and, and I know Australian Shepherds are super smart. Um, they can't learn all the stuff they do for herding sheep. 
and not be smart. Havanese is one that we're thinking about, which is a Havana dog and a Maltese. And they look like Maltese's, but they don't have, they're usually brown and black in patterned colors instead of just all white. A real Maltese is snow white everywhere. I've seen them um, be used as Maltese's when they have like uh, cinnamon hair around their faces. That's not a full-blooded Maltese. Um, but it's not easy finding a full-blooded Maltese breeder. And I don't know if breeders are taking breaks because of COVID. I've seen a lot of breeders say no puppies available till 2022 <laughs> in this area. And those are just the ones We've talked to um, our vet, and they were not very forthcoming about breeders, so I found that strange. I need to call, I'm gonna call the um, groomers today, because every time I took Bogey in to get groomed, there was at least two other puppies, or two other dogs, Maltese's getting groomed. So I know they're around our area of Columbia. And, who, I don't know, I don't know. It would be wonderful to get another Maltese. Just because I know that breed, I know how smart they are. I know I'm not saying other dogs aren't smart. I'm just comfortable with that breed. That's a good way to say it. So yeah, Ghirardelli Square, Ghirardelli Chocolate Company. but no info, just pictures. <laughs> and tomorrow's page is already planned because it's the last day. So I spent a good bit of time, oh my gosh, they killed my foot yesterday. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. I don't know if I'm gonna survive this therapy with them right now. rough having your foot pulled on and yanked on and I thought the massage and all the other stuff was tough manipulating it when they move the toes back and forth like that that was easy compared to the, the part I'm going through now but I'm surviving and it's giving me more mobility for sure it's it's moving which is the whole point to try to unstiffen is that a word? Unstiffen my foot. Which is pretty stiff. I feel sorry for Tiger Woods. He's in a... He's in for a... And somebody at the gym... Not gym. Physical therapy place yesterday said he had just gotten over back surgery in December. I was like, oh, good grief. Another back surgery. He's had several. Okay. We're going to have to go with that for right now. Sorry. If I find it, I'll put it in with you. But I don't know if I'm going to find the, the journaling piece that goes here. That's my favorite kind right there. Although they do have a salted caramel, which is good. Yum, yum. I should do a flip through. I'll do a flip through. Oh, let's put this 87 somewhere. It's just a little page number, but I can't resist. It's how it goes. Oh, here's the blue. Should be page 39. All right. Um, I'm going to do a flip through. Sage and Spencer, or Sage and Spencer. They're not on every page, and I might need to make a couple more to put some more towards the end. But they hijacked, they didn't hijack, they, what do you call it when you sneak on? <sighs> they snuck on a book tour of the ladies. <clears throat> we don't know who the lady is. She's on a book tour though, she's very famous. 
and these bugs, which started out in a junk journal and just playing with scraps. And I was like, oh my gosh, their species Oceana slothic because I love sloths and I'm at the beach. <laughs> That's the only way. And they're just scraps of paper that I was trying to use up and I made bugs. And I was trying to make this kind of like a science journal layout. This is a photocopy of my layout because it's in another journal. And then I decided to have the bugs go on a trip. So they went to San Francisco on a <coughs> excuse me, book tour with the lady. They snuck on. Their first stop was the Golden Gate Bridge. And this is just me continuing my love of collage. And it's how I really, really have evolved. And maybe I have no objection to taking this, photocopying it and using it as a background in a traditional journal or traditional memory keeping way. Not just maybe journaling, but even the way like Allie Edwards does it, I could cut these up into journal cards, put a little piece of white on them and put a journaling message on it. I have no objections of doing that and I probably will do that. But I am having fun with the collage process. I can't seem to throw the paper away and da 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 da. So this is my focus very much currently. Golden Gate Bridge was their first stop and a little bit of history and then the bugs take on it, journaling on it. And you'll have to, I'm not gonna read them all, you'll have to go back and look. There the bugs appeared. Coit Tower, the history and the journaling from Sage and Spencer. And again, there's jelly plates, there's ephemera purchased, 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 photographs off the computer, washi tape, magazine pieces, um, paint on tissue paper, washi tape, lots of washi tape on this one, which does not stick very well at all. Um, anything goes, and I'm really not sure. I call this collage. I'm pretty sure it is collage, but it's to me not far from a junk journal um, at all. Then they went and ate Chinese food, and this is one of the patrons that I sponsor, a uh, printable from her, and I did lots of little circles out of lots of little papers, and I included Chinese New Year this year, which is the year of the ox. Japanese newspaper, I think. But we anyhow, we were in Chinatown. China's, Chinese stamps. Um, a lot of red, because that's China's color. Uh, this was the Grateful Dead, but it really wasn't s um, focusing totally on the Grateful Dead. It was just the era of Haight-Ashbury, the 60s, the 70s, when I grew up. Um, and I grew up just across Golden Gate Bridge um, in Marin County and was here during the 60s and 70s. I think we moved there in about 65. And... Yes, that's how old I am. <laughs> and um, I was a little, little girl, but I was still around. But the 60s, mainly the 70s were my focus. But um, how much stuff came out of San Francisco? Uh, the music, the counterculture, um, the hippie movement. I consider it all influenced hugely by this area of California. Um San Francisco is loaded with music, gardens, banking, comedy, nationalities, architecture. It has it all. Famous people, Robin Williams, Jefferson Airplane, Santana, the Doobie Brothers, Journey, Creedence Clearwater Revival, which I didn't even know, Green Day, which I didn't know, Metallica, which I didn't know, 
um, lots of music influence, especially, especially during my time. Not as much now. Journey. Um, did I, I already said Journey. Um, big, huge bands are from this area. In fact, I've seen them in my neighborhood, Santana. <laughs> Used to play baseball. Um, this was the cable car ride that they took. And movement. Um, and... Again, stickers, uh, that's washi tape, magazine images, magazine images, pictures, uh, art installation, which was um, a bunch of paint drop, drop cloths painted. I thought that was gorgeous. Another printable. Um, stickers out of a sticker book, that big sticker book that I have. Um, and then the history and the journaling from the bugs. Um, Fisherman's Wharf, no, not Fisherman's Wharf, Pier 39, mainly the seals that have adopted Pier 39 as their home. The history and the take from Sage and Spencer, and here they are again. Now, they might look different from each other pages that they're in, but that's because they have different clothes on. Um, oh, Golden Gate Park and... The museums of Golden Gate Park and the gardens of Golden Gate Park and the history of Golden Gate Park and all that it stands for was this one. Um, the missions in California, specifically Mission Dolores, which is the one in, Cal in San Francisco, right or wrong, what they did was wrong, but it's still part of California's history and I wanted to document it. Um, the Spanish missions. And it was a huge part of the history that I learned as a kid growing up in that area and visiting these places with family or schools or whatever. Um, Fisherman's Wharf. This is Spencer only. He had his San Francisco 49ers t-shirt on. This is a little brighter. Um, uh, I do love the bright. This is uh, Jane Davenport paper. An image out of a magazine, printables, um, scrap paper, purchased ephemera, washi tape from Diane Reevely. I mean, all over the place. And uh, talking about how you can get a cocktail, walk away crab cocktail, which is in a little dish with, um, what is the red sauce called? Cocktail sauce. I don't like cocktail sauce. I like tartar sauce. Anyhow, here are the bugs. At this point, in all their, a lot of different outfits, they were over the top aggravated with the paparazzi that followed the lady on her book tour. So they just had a fit and screamed about paparazzi. And then they talked about BART, Bay Area Rapid Transit, San Francisco's version of a subway. Some of it's above ground, some of it's below ground, some of it's underwater. Um, and all of that entails printables, deli paper, purchased ephemera, scrapbook paper, stamping, magazine images. It runs the gamut. Uh, Lombard Street, the crookedest street in the world. Eight, eight crooks long, eight turns long, one block long. Um... Painted paper, scrapbook paper, book paper, painted paper, scrapbook paper, ephemera. It just never stops. Blue jeans, Levi Strauss was started in San Francisco from the gold fields and needing rugged clothing in the gold fields. I was always told they made their tents out of it, but I didn't find that in the history. Um, love that one. Uh, the Palace of Fine Arts and how it was used in the Pan Pacific Expo in 1915 and what it's been used for since. Um, the history and the journaling from the bugs and Ghirardelli Square, today's. So really they haven't changed that much. Layering, layering, layering. I do think I have the layering down. I like what I come up with for me. 
Um, it works for me. It makes my aesthetic happy. But tomorrow we're going to go a different route because tomorrow's not going to be collaging. Okay, I need a cover, don't I? Oh, we're about halfway through. So there might be room for another journal. Continuation of another month, of another kind of journal in here. But very close to the same thing. So thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Bye.